going on? Blossom is back, and welcome back to another episode of Top Drives. Now, this is my garage. You may know this. I definitely know this. I have 271, uh, 271, 2,175 cars. I tell you what, I know my garage, but I still do not know math for the life of me, okay? I own 2,175 cars. 226 are common. 287 are uncommon. 343 rare. 355 are super rare. 611 ultra rares in my garage. Very, very proud of that. Uh, 202 epics and 151 legendary. Now, I know this garage very well, and it is relatively strong. However, today's video is quite interesting. I want to know which garage is stronger, the one that I own or the one that I don't. Now, over here, as you can see, is the garage that I do not own own. I do not own 151 common, 115 uncommon, 90 rares, 93 super rares, 44 ultra rares, 218 epics, and 168 legendary. So, which garage is going to be better? That's the question I want to ask you guys today. Let me know down in the comments below. Which garage would you rather have? The one that I have, or the one that I don't? So, let's get straight into it. Prize cards are going to be included, of course, because when I, you know, count my entire garage, I, the one that I own at least, I count the prize cars as well. So, let's get into it. The commons, now I'm gonna go through these really quickly. I'm missing about, what, 151 commons? Obviously, I'm not a fan. This is the rarity that I hate the most because it doesn't win you anything. It just basically just gets you through like the first two stages of a legendary challenge, which we haven't seen in a long time. It seems that the commons aren't very useful in the time trial series as well. Please, keep it that way. Please, Hutch, keep it that way. Please, I absolutely hate this common. One way I could make one way hutch could make this rarity a bit more enticing isn't what would be the stats like first of all make the pictures nicer it's something about commons where the pictures are all kind of bad <laughs> like this one it's uh i know that they're old cars with older pictures so they can't be in 4k that being said though it's not like the picture has to be taken in the 1980s you can take a picture of a car from the 80s like today you know what i mean like i don't know man like a lot of these pictures like come on man it's just so boring it's such a boring picture and the other thing is that hudge isn't really doing any of these you know cars in this rarity any justice because they made commons gray like that is so dull like come on like they could have made like i've said this so many times they could have made the color for common like pink or something like that like that would make it a little bit more enticing you know like gray is just a telltale sign of oh this isn't an important rarity you know what i mean this isn't an important rank um so yeah this is the the collection that i do not own do you like it do you think it's op there's not a single blossom choice sitting over here uh there there ain't, there ain't no fiesta there ain't no monte carlo no dictator mercedes let me know if you like that okay now moving on are going to be the hundred and 15 uncommons that I do not own. How strong is this going to be? The interesting thing is like a lot of people always like to talk in the comments, oh Blossom, you don't have that car. I actually own this car. It's pretty nice. So if you see any car in this, I guess, reverse garage tour, um, then you can definitely know that you own a car that I do not. Now there is a reason for every uncommon and common I do not own. Um, commons, un okay, commons I hate. Uncommons are okay. Like I, I collect uncommons from time to time. That being said, though, I really only focus on these cards when there's a legendary challenge, you know? Like, outside of Blossom Choice, like, my, my rule for commons are, are, are as such, right? I collect the Blossom Choices. Every other common you see that I own is because I was forced to do it. I was held at gunpoint to keep them and max them, and I just didn't have the heart to sell them just in case I had to use them again, because I know that I never, I'm never going to max them again as well, so I might as well just keep them around since I have the slots. It's kind of the same thing for uncommons, but... Usually, I, I kind of have this rule in my garage now where every time I complete a one mil pack opening, I would usually take one or two random uncommons I don't own to max just because you get like 90 uncommons from a one mil pack opening, right? So, you know, I, it's kind of like charity almost. Like I just take one and I'm just like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, you're gonna enter my garage. I don't care if you're crap. I'm just adding you for the collection. One really good car I do not own is the DS5. I had this back in the day a long time ago, but I had it 233. Then I found out it was wrong. Um, then I sold it and I just never well I got it again it's just that I never had the I, I was never bothered to max it again you know so 
I would say that's one really good uncommon. I'm missing another one would be the Citroen SM 2.7 injection. I'm missing this one as well, which is a bit of a miss because that is a really, really good car. But I do have the other Citroen, which is also like equally as strong. Uh, moving on to the rest of the uncommons that I do not have. As you can see, there's a trend going on here. A lot of these cars are French. A lot of these cars are Japanese. And a lot of these cars are front wheel drive and hatchbacks because these are cars that I don't like. I like estates. I like wagons. I like saloons and I like coupes. I don't like hatchbacks. I don't like front wheel drive cars. And to be completely honest, I'm not a fan of convertibles and roadsters either. So you're going to be seeing a lot of those in here. And also not a single American car inside. There are a little bit of American cars here and there. But to be completely honest, I think besides a couple of PT cruisers, uh, there aren't going to be a lot of American cars in the garage that I do not own. Well, until the end, then we'll, there'll be like two Dodges and one SCG. Okay, moving on to the rares that I do not have. Once again, tell me. Me. Tell me if you find this enticing. The thing is, right, when it comes to the garage that I do not have, and you are really deciding if you'd rather have this one or the one that I own, it's really just down to, like, if you want better legendaries and everything else is going to be worse, or you want better um, everything else, but legendaries are going to be slightly worse. Like, I'm not going to say that I have a weak legendary collection, but probably compared to the legendary collection in the garage I don't have, it is going to be weaker. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see in the end, okay? Okay, we'll see in the end but definitely for the rares you aren't missing much out over here like i've always thought about this scenario let me know if you thought about this scenario but whenever i'm daydreaming like imagine like one day right some like mythical creature let's say god but in my eyes it's kanye west so let's say kanye west comes up to me and he's like okay i'm gonna give you two options would you rather keep the garage that you have in top drives now or have a garage and top drives of every car that you do not own, but you lose everything, but you gain everything that you don't have. So basically like this is the garage. If I chose that option, this is the garage that I would have. It's the garage that I don't have. Is, is that confusing? I hope that isn't. But look at just all this like garbage. Like there, there's some decent cars in here. Like, I mean, the Ford Mondeo is all right. The Ranger, you can probably get some value out of it because it has 80 handling when you max it out. Four wheel drive, all surface tires, but then everything else is kind of like, it's mainly misses really. Now we move on to uncommons if i remember correctly i think i'm missing about 93 uncommons or something like that uh, sorry super airs not not uncommons i'm missing about 93 super airs and straight off the bat like you're gonna see like this is a good way of showing like what are the cars that i hate <laughs> once again man look at this hatchback 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 right french 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 volkswagen i hate volkswagen and i don't really like french cars either um yeah and then you have convertibles and then you have like non-american cars the alpine a, uh, a 110 is pretty cool to be fair but i just can't get any use out of it you know the volkswagen atlas is a piece of crap i mean we've talked about that many many times the citrus civic type r this one's okay um but you know is it me yeah it's medium so it's all right handling is okay as well but once again you know it's hot hatch i'm not a fan of hot hatch there's also gonna be a lot of bentleys in here volkswagen volkswagen Renault sport hot hatch french car and now this i gotta be honest i'm like looking at this collection right here and i kind of want to puke you guys know i do not like super airs because i hate the color yellow first and form foremost uh second of all these cars are not worth upgrading at all uh, because you have to waste 15 rares which i could be selling for 15k and then it's like 45 grand to max out a super air like not worth it. I'd rather spend that money on an ultra air. So yeah, this is the collection that I do not have. And honestly, like, I don't think it's making a good case for itself. I, I can't see anyone watching this video and saying like wholeheartedly, yes, I'd rather have this super air collection over the one that you own. You know what I mean? Like every Blossom choice is annexed from this collection. Like, can you tell me if there's anything good over here? I don't think so, man. But you know, now we move on to the ultra rares. Literally only 44 to choose from. <laughs> Literally only 44 Altraers to choose from. You're, you're greeted with a bunch of RQ50s. You got four of them. And then you have a bunch of RQ51s. You got four of them as well. I would say that the RX-7 Spirit R is like, okay. But like compared to the other RX-7s, it is not okay. Then you have a bunch of Range Rovers in here, right? There's a lot of Range Rovers. A lot of ugly cars in here as well. The Aerial Atom, I actually want this. We've talked about this recently. I really want that. I can't seem to get it. That's actually a really good car that I do not own. It's the same thing for the Sport Magan. I need this in my garage. 
Raw, Jamidim Gronk claims a 97 Harling is really good. And then we have an American card. The only American ultra rare non-prize that I do not own is the first ever American Frontier ultra rare I've ever unpacked since the update. It was the Chrysler 300M concept. I think I've only unpacked it once. I fused it away because I didn't like how it looked and I can't seem to get it again. So I might not be getting this car in a very, very long time. <laughs> um, a lot of BMWs, some Volkswagens as well. Um, the Roof R56. You guys absolutely know I hate this car. I think it's useless. Um, then we have the Lanza Delta Integrale. I do kind of want this in my collection. It is pretty versatile. And of course, the Vauxhall BX220, which we've talked about as well. A um, bunch more Volkswagens. The GMC Yukon XL is another American Ultra I don't have, but it's a prize car. Waiting for this to come back, and then I'll probably get it. Um, and that's it, man. I, I, don't, I have every RQ61 and 62 in the game. I'm missing 163 and 164. Both of these are JPT, which also means I've never unpacked them before. But that being said, JPT has been around for a very long time, right? So the Forester and the Q70, although like they are the newest cars on the block, at the same time, these are cars that I've never unpacked in the last, what, 10, 11 months, something like that, which is crazy when you think about it. Almost a year since the last car update. Very, very poor from Hutch. Now we move on to the epics I don't have. Now I own 206 epics, and I think they're like 220 something epics where I'm missing out right now. Um, and to be fair, it might seem like there are a lot of epics that I'm missing out on, but not a lot of them are actually really good. Like these are all 65, like, there's a reason I don't own any 65 bar like three. One being the Peugeot, the other being the Nissan Bluebird, and then the Chevrolet Marais. Everything else over here, I just immediately fuse away. 65 is just asking to be shot. Um, and then we move on to 66. I got a lot of 66s in here as well. Hey, look, it's the Maserati. You want this? I fuse this away. I had it at one point, got rid of that. Um, where's that infinity? That's gonna be gone too. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I, there, there are more more epics in the collection that I do not own, in the garage that I do not own, um, but a lot of these epics are absolute garbage, like the Q60 as well, yeah, this one I fused away, um, no regrets, no regrets at all, a lot of Bentleys in here as well, so none of these are actually really good in my opinion, I mean, the, the Z06 is alright, Z06 is alright, the Infinity Q70, that's alright, but everything else is just, oh man, not very good, is it? I've owned the STSV at one point, medium ground clearance, decent MRA. Might be a car that maybe when I reach my end game for American cars, I will max out. But for now, I'm still focusing on Dodge. Um, because I'm out of every, I have almost every Dodge Epic in the game besides one. But not every single one of them is maxed, and once that is done, I gotta max every single Aston Martin epic as well. Remember, I still love- I don't talk about Aston Martin as much as I usually do anymore, but I still freaking love Aston- <laughs> I still freaking love Aston Martin. Okay, now we have our- <coughs> For some reason, I'm choking on my own breath. Does that ever happen to choke on oxygen? That would be ironic. But yeah, Acura HSC. Now, this is a really good epic that I'm missing out on. Really want this in my collection. It's a very light car. Uh, and 99 handling. Definitely want that in my collection. Uh, moving on, I mean, the BMW M2 competition. I think I've actually owned this at one point. I might have fused it away like a long time ago. Now, my favorite, one of my favorite BMWs of all time is the M2. Not the Competition Delimited though, just, you know, the nice blue one, the nice BMW M2, the one with the grills where it's not that black. Um, but I have that already and I have that locked and I'll max it out one day as a passion project. So, um, once again, you can't really, okay, you can't really guilt me for not having a Nissan Leaf, okay? Like for the prize cars that haven't been awarded, I feel like they can be like not counted in this, please. Um, that I, I just couldn't Put that sentence together like please don't count the prize cards that have not been awarded i haven't gotten the chance of trying to get them yet for the prize cards that have been awarded which i missed out on yeah you can count those because that's my fault i missed out on them but like cars like the nissan leaf like it's not like anyone had the chance of saying oh this could have been in my garage anyway um but moving on, moving on from the collection now the our compressor was a car i used to own when it had like amazing mra but unfortunately that's been cut um ford f-150 raptor i need this in my life i really really do it's a beautiful car too one of my best friends grant he owns one of them and i really want one just to make him proud whatever that means to him you know uh xc uh xc 68 is a really good one the best like swedish all service tire car would of mine having this in my garage and of course two big ones i'm missing would be the c8 spider t but an even bigger one would be the ds numero nine i mean 
and this card needs no introduction the ds numero nine is ridiculous ridiculous i want this <laughs> uh i really want this i want this more than probably some american cards i do not well actually no thinking about american cards i don't own i mean i want this more than a lot of american epics i don't own but not more than any dodge that i don't have uh moving on from the collection i mean once again like you're missing like i know there are more epics in the garage that i do not own but you're missing a lot of good cards here no jaguar i pace um no evo 9 uh, no Evo 8 prize car, um, no Cadillac CT6, not a single Hellcat, because I have every single one of those, no Durango, no Donk, like no good Donk, right, there are still some pretty bad Donks you can get, but no good Donk, no Lotus 211, you know, there are some really good epics that I do own, which I'm very happy about, um, once again, we have the Sir Peter Blake Bentley, if you like that, of course, the Bentega Diesel, I can't believe that I did not wishlist this, I gotta wishlist this, I totally forgot about this car when I was, when I, when I was wishlist just thinking, yeah, I need that. I need that. I need that. I need the Bentley Bentega Diesel. Now we get to see some pretty good cars I'm missing out on, right? The Bentley Bentega Diesel, right? Um, the TVR Tuscan Race car is another one that I'm missing out on. The Mitsubishi Lancer Evo, I need that in my life. Um, and of course, the Dodge Viper SRT10. I also really, really want the Bentley Flying Spur as long as it stays saloon, four wheel drive, medium, and capable of hitting 90 handling. Which means that if this car ever gets a nerf, especially if it goes low ground clearance, if it goes low ground clearance i won't want it anymore um and then the rest of the 79th just a bunch of bentleys and audis and that's about it now we get to the real selling part about this garage like the only reason why i can see someone might, might, might want this garage over the one that i own is because of the legendaries that i'm missing so yeah a lot of good legendaries over here i mean i say that these rq80s are all kind of trash the dvr typhon i really really want though and the porsche 911 turbo i'm gonna wish this is too mainly because it has uh friday headlights and that's all um also the lancia deltas i've never really pulled the off-road Lanza Deltas or the Peugeot 206 WRC. All really good cars. And of course, my baby, man, the SRT and ACR. I need this in my life. I really, really, really want this. Don't have it yet. Um... Lotus Evora GTE road car, Lotus Evora GT4, really, really good as well, need those. This one, to be fair, hasn't been released, so can't really fault me on not having that. The CTS, you can fault me on having this, though, I, on not having this. I really, really want this, actually. It handles really well, and it has medium ground clearance, and of course, I am a saloon collector, and this is a saloon. Hugely powerful, super saloon with high-tack chassis. Um, and then, obviously, the Aston Martin DBL Super Legeres. I don't have any of them, either. Like, this is the real selling point over here some really good legendaries i'm definitely missing out on and of course the chevrolet camaro almost a corvette chevrolet camaro z01 le a uh, really really good one as well and of course my baby the estimar and dbs super legera i need this in my life man there's some really good cars here though there's some really really strong cars some really strong legendaries i don't have i mean a lot of these that you might have seen in my wishlist video already so i'm going through this pretty quickly but as you can see um there are some pretty good legendaries that i do own so then again you know it's kind of like which set of legendaries would you rather have don't forget that i do own the yesco absolute i own um the yamera i own the bugatti Chiron sport i own the porsche 918 that being said though this collection would have the volkswagen idr the remax c2 um to be honest though the remax c2 i don't see it getting used a lot mainly because i think it's like croatian also it's four-wheel drive not a lot of four-wheel drive events out there um but then again you know the regera the agera final the scg the 962 don't fault me on not having the gtr lm please this car hasn't been out um but the jaguar xjr9 and of course like i said the pikes peak the yesco attack but that hasn't been out either sesto elemento the centenario the chiron and the vera so this one is really the real selling point would you rather have these eight cars that you see over here right the yesco attack the sesto the rtr the centenario i mean pikes peak like can we really count that that hasn't been out the yesco attack hasn't been out and then we go into my cars right now let's look at my collection okay so let's get rid of my not own my cars look at this one you know in my collection you're gonna get the zonda revolution you're gonna get the peugeot 905 b you're gonna get the pikes peak xl7 the koenigsegg gimer and now one eight the bugatti chiron the hdi the intenza emozioni the koenigsegg 11 the senna the yesco absolute so pick your pick pick you know we say pick your poison both of these options are really good but at the end of the day let me know down in the comments below which one would you rather have the garage that i own or the garage that i do not own like i said i think that um to most people 
I think that the legendaries that I'm missing are still better than the like, legendaries that I own. But for everything else, come on. Like, my garage is better, okay? Like, this basically just means that my garage is past 50%. Because now I'd rather have my own garage than the one that I don't have. Um, you know, I got the super light in mine. I got the CC100 in mine. I got the, um, the, the CT6. I got the fuel ride, the FR500, the Metro 6 or 4 Clubman. What I'm trying to say is this. Right, if you ever feel like your garage isn't really that good, look at the garage that you don't have and see what is missing. Because what is missing is what you own. So, I'm happy with my, I'm very proud of my garage. I'm very proud of my legendaries. I'd rather have my legendaries, the one that I own, instead of the one that I do not own. Even though that I don't own even more legendaries, if I chose the other batch, I would have like about, I think, almost 20 more legendaries, like 18 more. I don't care though. I'd Look, the thing is, right, the legendaries I have in here, especially the prize cars, the reason I have them was because I wanted them. So, the ones that I don't have is mainly because I didn't really want them as much. So anyway, that's going to be it for today. Let me know down in the comments below which one you would rather prefer, but that's going to be it. Hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to stay safe, wash your hands, and blossom out. Peace. Bro, this song just makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jet box back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jet box back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies, they so fine. Sit back, relax in my Bonneville Pontiac Hold tight all night, cruise to Jacksonville Atlantic Blonde hair, don't care, look like Leslie Brooks Pin up girls everywhere with the drop that looks Swing it side to side as we slow dance to the night When 